Until recently, bone grafts were considered highly dangerous because it meant taking bones from cadavers, or in some cases cows, leading to the possibility of developing infection. Well now, one Israeli startup has found a new way to generate bone grafting material using coral. Joining me today in the studio is Ohad Schwartz, the CEO and co-founder of Corbone. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. All right, so my first question is, under what circumstances would somebody typically need a bone graft? Usually you need a bone graft in cases of bone loss, right. which is due to disease, injury, removal of tumors, and most commonly, commonly during uh, implant procedures. Okay. But usually when you need an implant, you don't have enough bone on the first place to support it. I see. So, and so how did you come up with this idea to, to create you know, something out of coral? As I said before, bone grafts are commonly used from human, which is dangerous, cows, uh, which is not good enough because in order to get rid of the biological risk of the uh, bovine bone, you have to heat it to about 1,000 degrees, and then it becomes ceramic, so it doesn't dissolve, it doesn't replace by a new bone as the new bone growth. And bone graft is essentially a scaffold. It has to enable the growth of new bone, but being replaced by the bone as it grows. That's a, that's a tall order. It is, yes. Yeah. So, okay, so why coral? Because corals were known as very good bone graft material for about 20 years. Uh, but apparently, today it's very uh, difficult to get them because corals are endangered species. Yeah, they have a so lot of bleaching in the oceans. Exactly, so you can't get them. And even if you get them, you don't have control over the growth process. Mm. So the quality is deteriorating. What we've done is we develop a technology of growing the corals in closed system, in aquariums, where we don't have any connectivity to the sea. We take drinking water, we do reverse osmosis, we add the sea salts and minerals, and for a patented technology, we embed bioactive minerals in the coral, so they grow the bone faster after implantations. Now, okay, so coral, if you're growing coral in a separate tank, you know, far from natural uh, devices and influence, how can you, can you also control the speed of growth? Because it's my understanding that coral grows very slowly. You're absolutely right. But by giving them the best condition possible, they don't have to compete in the environment. Uh, they grow 10 to 15 times faster than in nature. So how, like, how, what's the process of taking coral and creating this bone graft material? So basically we grow the coral. We have our own laboratory on site. We're testing the sea water uh, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. we check the coral growth on a daily basis, and when they get the right size and the right forms, we just cut them. And we, develop, we understood that if we cut them, we branch them like you do with olive trees. So from each branch, you have another two growing. So we speed the growth process on one hand side, and then we have the fresh, healthy parts of it right. that we process. We clean them. We process them into different shapes and sizes. We sterilize them by gamma radiation, and okay. then we ship it to our customers. And there, and there's zero issue of you know graft versus host or anything, anything zero. strange like this. Zero. We have over 200 cases, no adverse events, and basically there's no adverse events from using crawls for the last 20 years. It is safe. The issue. So this is like a new take on an older process. Exactly. I we see. we are leveraging the bone graph qualities of the coral itself. I see. So, okay, so how, you said 200 cases, over 200 cases? Over, and, yeah. And what, you know, what are the, what's the range of cases, you know, that you've been successful in, kind of? Uh... We've received CO certification after a long process because we're the only company that grows coral uh, in farms in order to be implanted in humans. So we had to go for a very uh, difficult process of uh, certification we've done successfully. And we received the approval uh, late uh, 2016. The Israeli Minister of Health approval early 2017. And we started, we launched our product on March this year, very successfully, because Amazing. we are the only company that offers what you call um, a natural alternative to the hmm. current human or animal derived products. I'm sure that's very popular, that wording especially. It is. <laughs> it, it catches very well. <laughs> catches Think about quick. India, 45% Hindus in the largest growing market in the world. That's incredible. Just think about it. Now, is there a specific type of coral that you're specializing with? Yes, we, they, we grow different types of corals, about 40 different types, because they have different shapes, different, different growth rate, and different porosity, mm. which 
part of it is what we call like cortical bone, the strong bone, the, the compact gum you have, right. and others are right. uh, very porous, as you can see here. Yeah. So they right. enable better vascularity. So we grow different corals for different indications. All right. All right. Well, I wish you guys nothing but success. Thank you so much for coming on to the Thank show. Thank you for having us here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.